This is Miami, the largest cruise ship port in the world. And this is Filipino food in the heart of Miami. Filipino culture is everywhere around the world, especially here in the cruise ship capital of the world. Filipinos are a huge part of the cruise ship industry. And literally we have the port right there. Right here we have Manila Cantina. This is like a supermarket slash buffet and it's full of Filipinos. They work on the cruise ships. They come here, you know, on their time. They get some quick bites and they go back. Let's go inside, let's talk to them and let's try some of this delicious food. Adobo, hello, hello. What's up guys? <laughs> That's why I'm here at the cruise ship terminal to find out the true experience of Filipinos working around the world. This is a microcosm of the Filipino community. Did you know that 60% of the people working on these ships are Filipinos? mind-blowing and they're so nice they're the friendliest people on the planet i was born and raised in miami i'm here most of the year and this is like the first time i've been here in over two decades i'm like a tourist in my own backyard it's amazing uh, i've gone on the cruise ship before i'm not a huge fan of cruise ship travel uh, but definitely recommend it if you can get on a cruise ship explore the world it's a great way to just get on leave all your bags right there you get on and you go see a few different countries it's a you know one stop two stop and you have like two days at sea uh, you know, cruise ship experience, there's many different styles. There's the ones here in the Atlantic, Caribbean, and you also have river cruises in Europe, which I highly recommend. I went on Viking cruises. What's your name? My name is Nane Linda. Nane Linda? Yeah, that's right. It's like mommy. Like mommy? Yes, my dear. And where are you from? I'm from the Philippines. But where, Manila? Or? Oh no, from Cavite. Cavite? Yeah. What's Cavite? Cavite is uh, Tagalog, Luzon. Oh, Tagalog. Yeah. But my boss is from Visaya. So how long have you been here working? Oh, it's, uh, I'm working there almost 12 years. 12 years? Yes, my dear. Wow. But so this restaurant dates back to 2017. Um, and as soon as you walk in, you can see it's like a, you know, a small eating dining area. And then on the left, we have the market. And what this is, is basically, you know, things that people can get in the Philippines. You know, they're here. They want to get stuff from home. They come, they buy. Uh, what do we got here? I mean, so many things that I don't even know, like banana chips. We have butter cookies. So this is a like senorita, so that, that Spanish flair. You know, coming here, seeing these types of products from the Philippines, it really is like an emotional thing, you know, bringing back a piece of home right here. Bolboron. Bolboron. So what's bolboron? It's like a powdery uh, stuff, you know. It's sweet. Yeah? And also, yeah, it tastes good. And it's uh, also flavored with that one. You like it, that ubi? The ubi, yeah. That's like yeah, the purple, purple yam. Yeah. Purple yam? But it, purple yam flavor. And where are you from? Philippines. But uh, where in the Philippines? Uh, Mindanao. 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 Yeah, the southern part of South. the Philippines. Yes. Yeah. I've heard stories of Mindanao. I need to go one day. And you work here on the cruise ship? Yeah, I work on the cruise ship. Oh, nice. And uh, so, so tell me, how long have you been uh, working on the ship? Yeah, on the ship. Like 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. Wow. And always here in Miami, or do they send no, you just somewhere else? Somewhere around, else. The world. Yeah, around the world. Yeah. yeah. I heard there's a huge uh, Filipino community in Barcelona. You know it? Yeah, there is yeah. one. There. We also go there, but uh, now I have, I've been, I, I'm here in uh, Miami. So. Yeah, and I, I've noticed. I mean, everybody here is Filipino. Everybody's from the cruise ships. Yeah, but no, everybody, uh, not everyone is Filipino. Uh, some of them are uh, from Indonesia. Okay. Yeah, Indonesian. Uh, Bahasa. Bahasa. They speak Bahasa. I, I've been to Indo. I, I know, I know. No, because Indonesia and Philippines are two largest island nations in the world. Yeah, I think I'm right on that one. Food's good? Yeah, what do you recommend? All of it. The whole thing? <laughs> the whole thing. And I'm noticing everybody has gloves. Why? It's oh, it's for the shrimp. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Be better? Better? Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, anything else you recommend I see here? Because I, I don't know what is Filipino. Like, like it's a ding dong. Mixed nuts. Ding, ding, dong. <laughs> this can go two ways. Clock or something else? <laughs> Let's keep seeing what else they got here. Oh wow, over here they have some shrimp crackers. Look at that. These are like puff balls. Could pop like a hundred of these. Shrimp snacks. What else they got? Oh wow, it's like never ending stuff. Oh yeah, ube cake. This is so Filipino. I don't think I've ever seen the ube anywhere else. That purple yam. And this is my boy, this is Sam. This is the owner over here. Oh, some more cakes. Basically what you would get if you walked into a small convenience store in the Philippines. All these shrimp snacks. They love these chips. And what else is over here? Mung beans. Mung beans. Green mung beans. 
Tarak Mom. Yeah, so this is a chicharron, uh, so shaving, so it's like pork skin. That's from the, the Mexican influence there, right? That's the Spanish, Mexican Spanish. You guys tell me, debate about it. Uh, it's all good, but you know what? This is just snacks. Let's jump to the food. Wow, that's the adobo right there. Look how good this food looks. The shrimp, got sausage, you have pork rinds. Oh, the noodles, man. Oh my God, this place is packed now. Look at this. Whoa, how did that happen? That was so weird. Okay, this, <laughs> it's okay. It wasn't us though, this, this whole thing just fell. We'll help her. <laughs> that was like my fail? Did, did I hit it? I, I don't know, it just fell, the whole thing. Maybe it's too heavy. Yeah, maybe too heavy. No rice, no power. No rice, no power? <laughs> this place is packed, I can't even believe this right now. Uh, dude, like two seconds. I mean, she told us there's gonna be like a huge rush. I'm gonna eat just like that, man, with your hands like that. It's good? Just a nice shrimp. By hands is good? So, what are you eating? Just shrimp? Yeah, shrimp, uh, ampalaya, and this one, uh, it's like a fried pork. Chicharron. Almost like chicharron. Okay, so we grab here. So, everybody starts off. Man, I can't even squeeze through here. So tight. Man, they're getting mountains of rice. I got a little bit of rice. Beautiful white rice. So what do you recommend? Everything, right? Dude, I just uh, everything smells so good here. Especially over there, the, uh, man, some of that spinach, eggplant. Oh, these noodles look fantastic. These look beautiful. Judith is talking too much about me. <laughs> them that you are the youtuber maybe their family will gonna see them oh yeah yeah for sure for yeah, sure that's why i told them that be aware right <laughs> judith is the owner right there judith is awesome uh, judith we're gonna go into the I kitchen just, soon just, uh informing them that you have that you are taking video and it's gonna be in youtube so that they're gonna be aware Perfect. and they can tell their family that i was in the youtube so they will look your youtube right yes yes oh man i don't know what to get too many things this is like an egg I'm gonna get one egg. Mmm. So what do you recommend? Maybe I get some of these shrimp over here. I saw everybody doing this as well. So you put this in here. Nice, I love shrimp. Let's go with shrimp. Oh, what's that? Looks good. What is it? Lion. It's like a quick uh, taro leaves. Looks beautiful, I love that creaminess. Like that? Oh wow. What's this? Is eggplant? Kare kare. This is a massive breakfast. But we have to eat like this. Oh. Yeah, right? What is this? Is that squid? That's pork. It's beautiful pork right here. I wanna get the adobo. I think this is the adobo room. Look at that. Beautiful. And then you know what? I'm gonna have to get one of these though. That is pork belly. Oh man, what is that? You know what, dude? I need to try that. This is Sisi. This is the best. Looks amazing. I'm gonna put it on the side here. There's a full plate. I'm ready. Yeah, when you're gonna eat the shrimp, you need the gloves. I'm gonna sit right here. Man, this place is really packed. Everybody's so friendly, it's amazing. What's up guys, how you doing? Everything good? So this is communal seating. You just sit down with everybody else and we try the food. Good? Yeah. So we have here the mix of adobo and then the sisig here. Wow bro, that looks good. That's the dessert and I'm starting off with the adobo. Pino guan. Mmm. Dude, it's amazing. It's just like I'm in the Philippines. It's that feeling of home. Got the egg here. Sisig. What's your favorite? Sisig? I don't know. Sisig is my favorite. 
It's like creamy chicken salad with onions. They're making fun of me. This one. This one. Oh, this one. But pork blood mixed with um with noodles. <laughs> it was amazing, bro. And over here, the taro leaf. This food is so comforting. Oh my gosh. Coconut, a taro leaf, explosion. Delicious. So how's that going? <laughs> so you guys all work on the cruise ships? And how long have you been out here in Miami? I uh, just got off today or? Yeah. I said, just go back again after. So you guys are out like eight months at sea, and then you come and you make stops. And Miami is obviously the the main port. Main port. The food is I haven't done this in a minute. Use gloves to eat. Usually I just wash my hands. That's how you do it, huh? Do they do this like in the Philippines? Everybody uses this. Traditional. I know when we do like uh, seafood boils, this is what we do here. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Just, wash. Yeah. just wash and that's it. Yeah, of course. Here we're just trying to keep it clean, right? How are you, my dear? Hey. Everything okay? So I'm going to put this on the side. Pass by that, my dear. Thank you, my dear. She's so kind. Okay. You're the best. Really? You're like my auntie. Oh, really? Lovely. <laughs> And this is breakfast, huh? This is more like a brunch. Mmm. Mmm. Good shrimp. Oh, yeah. I love shrimp. I have a hundred of these. So you do it. It's actually harder to do it with the gloves. No gloves better, but... I'll keep this clean. Where'd it go? So where else do Filipinos uh, like hang out in Miami? Just come here? Is there? I think there's a few other restaurants nearby too, right? Filipino ones. Oh, they're closed too. Oh wow! I heard there's a food truck like on the port. No. No. On Bayside. Auntie. So I have to ask you a question. Yes, my dear. So what do we have here? Ah, uh, this one. Ah. Uh, what is that? It's langunesa. Langunesa? Uh-huh. That's just like a sausage, the sweet sausage. Sweet like horse sausage, this uh -huh. one? That's right. That's good. Mm. This is like a, a sweet mm, chorizo. Oh, it's super sweet. Dude, it's like it's honey in this thing. Can't believe how about this? I haven't been to a restaurant like this in downtown. It's like every place in downtown, the too high end and stuff, this is like real old school. Still a hole in the wall. Judith. Yes, sir. You good? The inspector. The inspector. Hey, inspector. How you doing? The YouTuber in Manila. <laughs> it's amazing. The inspector's here. How you guys doing? Cheers, guys. Cheers. I don't have anything to drink. I should have got a drink. It's uh, so 15 bucks for water and soda plus the full buffet. You can go back and eat more. 17 if you want cocoa water. I'll, I'll add two bucks and get the cocoa water for sure. So what's your favorite? What's your favorite of all these? Lechon, lechon. This one, this is lechon. Better than Cuban. Coconut water. I've been to the Philippines once. I have to go back. He, 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 coconut water. He brought it. Coconut water. So you go to the tree from Tagaytay just to pick up the coconut. Okay. He's so kind. Oh, really? What's your name? Hey man, you're the best, bro. Thank you. No, this is this is what I love about your culture. It's so hospitable. Everybody's like so kind, friendly. Huh? Well, I'll, I'll make you famous, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna pay for my food. I'll I'll take it. I'll take. It. <laughs> At this point, am I using my hands to eat here? <laughs> <laughs> no. The sisig. Mm. And these noodles? Look at that. 
Beautiful. This is like glass noodles. They're amazing. A little sweet. It's also being mixed with the, the blood. I don't think it's real blood though. So sweet. Auntie, what's this one called again? Uh, that is kare kare. Kare kare. Mm -hmm. So it's eggplant in the kare kare. What else is in this? Vegetable, uh, pork. Vessels um, and pork. Uh, you know, that's a peanut butter. Mmm. Mm. It's like peanut dressing in here. Oh man. This is so delicious with the eggplant. It's so soft. It's like the ultimate peanut stew with eggplant. Mm. And over here, this is why you get the glove. Looks like they fried it as well. It's not the balut though. Where'd he go? <laughs> this is, it's not balut. No, it's not balut. It's a boiled egg and then a little uh, tomato and uh, onions. And you're supposed to do this, right? It's spicy. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. So where's the balut? No balut. No balut. <gasps> You guys have no idea. The coconut in here, well, and it's, it's like, dude, it was full, and now it's empty. Well, it's emptying out. I mean, they're quick, they just eat fast. <laughs> I'm going slow. I'm definitely have to try some other stuff. Pork adobo. So that's the adobo. So what did I get? Oh, this is something else. This is pork ding jung. You don't like the camera. <laughs> People here are so friendly. All I hear is laughing. People just like making jokes with each other. Right, with some coconut. Some coconut. Oh, so refreshing! It's coconut. Amazing parrot. Non-GMOs. Aqua de coco. Hi, David. This is our. Um, this is what you call bilo bilo, or um, in Bisaya binignit, or um, mix halo halo. It's a mix. It's like a halo halo. This is hot. Usually halo halo it's cold, but this one is hot. Because usually there's ice cream in it, right? No, there's no ice cream in it. No, not this one, the other one. Halo halo like... Yeah, the halo halo has ubi ice cream in it. This is basically uh, mixed fruits with uh, mini tapioca. Mini tapioca balls? Yeah, with coconut milk. <laughs> so... Enjoy, baby. No matter where you go, you always get bobas. Yeah, you always get bobas. Oh, it's like boba for life. Yes, boba is life. life. Bilo bilo, so this is a version like of halo halo, but this is hot. This is not with ice cream. And you can see the tiny tapioca balls throughout. It almost looks like um, like gnocchi or like a small dumpling. It's like mochi balls. Like a, like a, there's some mochi balls in there it. is mochi balls yes. in it. Oh, this is amazing. Nice and hot. Mm, it's almost like a bread pudding with the tapioca balls. Oh, bro, you have no idea how good that is. I would eat all this. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna subscribe to her. You're gonna subscribe? And what's your name? Paula. Hi. Paula. And so you work on the cruise ships as well? Yes, I'm working on the cruise ships. Nice. So this is like a place that feels like home. Yes, really. And from my understanding, this is like the last Filipino restaurant standing in this area. Because there was a few other ones, but now it's gone. Oh, really? That's yeah. It. Well, the while they are talking to you, my <laughs> dear, so that you will be on the YouTube, you know? <laughs> From a new cantina. Oh, she's too kind. Man. Oh, wow. Variety of food. Yeah? So what'd you get there? Yeah, I have here the uh, ampalaya. Ampalaya? Yeah, we have pinakbet here. We have the kare kare. That I'm bilo bilo, the one that you had before. And this one is... Uh, this is the cassava cake. Because uh, bread like palm, it's called palm. Yeah. And so you work on the cruise ships as well? Yeah. Yeah? Norwegian. Norwegian. Yeah. Yeah, and how, how long have you been away from the Philippines? I uh, just came last January. So it's been two months already on board. And usually it's like an eight month or something from my understanding. Yeah. We decide for eight months. Eight months, wow. Well, good for you, bro. Thanks. Thank you. All right, let's go to the kitchen. All right. As is non-stop. They literally is turning over and turning over. 
Judith, so how many dishes did you have out there? I think it's like 20. Uh, I think it's 25 or more than 25 dishes every day. And these are all local Filipino dishes from different places in the Philippines? Yeah, we have Indonesian, we have uh, sometimes Indian, we have uh, Th Thailand sometimes, it depends. Then how long have you been in business? We've been here, this place, 2017. 2017? 2017, in wow. the, uh, October. So who's your primary clients? The cruise ship, the crew members. People working on the cruise ship, they are the primary one. Got it. What was your journey like? Mm -hmm. how, long, how long have you been in the States? Uh, 16 years. 16 years. And we've been in the business like 12 years, 12 to 13 years. And how'd you end up coming over here to America? Uh, I, uh, I work uh, as a uh, room attendant in the hotel before. Okay. Yeah, I applied for, uh, I have a working visa for one year. But I keep on like uh, digging who gonna be uh, support me, like sponsor me. So I, I applied for a restaurant, uh, Japanese Chinese restaurant, and this, this sponsored me for my paperwork. Oh, wow. That's why I stayed here for two years. I got all my family. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so that, uh, that's one thing I did read about the Filipino community in America 40,000 Filipinos wow. migrate every year since 1979 and a big reason is because they get a visa because families are here so because your family is here they give you like some special visa but i am the one who started in our family you're the one that started so you're the one that started bringing your family over yes wow congratulations thank you so what are we making here today the lechon kawai that we have is air fryer we didn't wire. deep fry yeah we didn't deep fry the crunchy pork mm -hmm. we didn't deep fry it here we just use this one. Oh, i like it better yeah we're using this one. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's going to taste better from there over yeah, the fryer. The good thing is there's not a lot of oil in it. Yeah. Just like, you know, that's why not it's Not too fun. greasy. Yeah, not too greasy. And the crunchiest is it stayed longer. Wow. Even if it's 24 hours, it's still crunchy. And so in terms of like um, the, the story of the Filipinos in Miami, um, you know, not huge community. I know there's some in Broward. But the Filipino community comes through these uh, ships. Yes, because I think 60% of the of the crew members is Filipino. 60%. Yes, before it's 80% before pandemic. Oh, wow. Yeah, but now when I ask them, it's only 60% because they the uh, they, they hired like Indonesian, Indian, and there's another I don't know what that they hired from. Got it. But mostly it's Filipino. When you go in the cruise, it mostly Filipino work there. It's amazing. Workers, yeah. and, and so what's the reason? Because I, I, from what I've heard is because the Philippines and Indonesia, they're both the biggest island nations. Mm -hmm. They're used to water. They're, they're more water people. Seamen is from what I've seen. Um, online people are calling it that. Yeah, but when I ask, you know, like the, uh, the head in there, the managers, why do you like Filipino most? And they said the Filipino is the hard worker of all them. Yeah. Uh, from what I've seen is that they always, they're hard working with a smile. Yes. You know, everybody's happy. Friendly. Friendly. Our country used to be a friendly country. Yeah. And family oriented. So we used to like be taking care of everybody in the family when they go in the cross. I love this way. So you have another, another uh, branch because they also have Port Everglades yes. there, correct? Yes. Also, crew members as our primary customer there. Yeah. So you targeting obviously the crew members coming because from what I saw in there, easily everybody comes mm -hmm. from the ships. It's and not very quick. Very quick. I told you the rotation is like ten minutes. The most is fifteen minutes. Wow. That's why you know we really like very fast because if, if one this empty, we must have to refill it right away. What's your favorite dish, Filipino dish? No, mine is adobo. Adobo. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say sisig. Oh, you oh. try the sisig? Oh, I, try, I love the sisig. Oh, but that's not really the special sisig. Oh. If you really know with the a la carte, it's amazing. There's an egg at the top. There is like a, a lot of spice in the oh, top. Oh, so you, you do a la carte as well? Yes. Okay. That's for the buffet. And uh, so there's no balut, from my understanding. No balut. There, there's no balut. One day you'll make it for me yeah. special. Just let me know ahead of time. We, we still accept order like balot as long as they called us early before they, they will pick it up. Okay. What is that? Yeah, okay. So balut is a fermented chick. Uh -huh. So it's, it's literally when you open the egg, you still see the body of the chick. It actually was developed. 
acquired not, taste. It's not, yeah, it's an acquired taste. Not my favorite. I prefer sisig. Oh, thank you. Good. How about the dessert? Did you try the ginatan? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think that's what I'm trying right here. Uh huh. This ginatan? Ginatan. Bilo bilo. And you also have, I think, a cassava, cassava bread, cake. like palm. Cassava cake. It's made with yoga, coconut milk, egg, and condensed milk. Yeah, this is a weird question. <laughs> but if I was an alien, I came down from Mars, mm -hmm. came to Earth, and wanted to learn about the Filipino culture, what would you tell me? Oh my God, I don't, I don't, I don't get <laughs> <laughs> If I was an alien, like uh -huh. if, if I didn't know anything about Filipino culture, what can you tell me about it? Yeah, Filipino is really a, a friendly country. We are really family oriented. We are good to taking care of everybody. We just have to work, working hard, discuss the family, you know, earning much to send to family. That's it. Such a diverse people, I think, too, right? Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, so and we islands. have a lot of dialects there. Every oh. every place is different dialect. How many but our second and I a lot, a lot, hundreds more than hundreds. Oh. And we have we are our the good thing the second language is English, so we are universe. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean that's one of the things we noticed that everybody is very well spoken. The mm -hmm. Filipinos all can speak English, and that's why they get jobs mm -hmm. on cruise ships and around the world in hotels because they are very easy to adapt and learn, mm -hmm. and again, super hospitable. Uh, it, yeah, we're compatible to everybody. <laughs> they adapt. Which one do you like here? Only the CC? Uh, I, I, you know, I liked everything. Uh, I, I don't know, what didn't I try? I didn't try a few things. I can't try it all. This is a lot. But this is amazing. It just keeps happening, keeps yeah, coming. you can interview some of them. Because yeah, who can we interview? No more rice? No more rice? No more rice? Sorry, bro, I ate all the rice. So I'm gonna get a small piece. This is so. What would you call this? It's like a cassava cake made with yogurt, coconut milk, condensed milk, and egg. So it's like flan. Everything is in there. It's better than flan. It has coconut. Oh, it's amazing. It's like a super soft, yet like all con together. It's like condensed. Delicious. Okay, too good. One, that's one thing in, in Filipino, even you just meet the person, we're like family already, we know each other long time. But you know, that there's, a, there's a white people eating here, local people, and there's a customer that uh, dine in here, and they were talking like, like family, and he's asking me, are you guys know each other before? No, just now. Why are you just talking like you know each other long time ago? That's what we are, Filipinos like family. I love that. Beautiful. Well said. It's just like the, the, the feeling is different. If you uh, meet Filipino, it's just like, oh, I have family. Yeah. I meet another family. That's what we we know ourselves. Yeah, I think that's a part of the culture in, in the, f yeah. like, because it's so family oriented, especially like me, because I'm Venezuelan. Mm -hmm. You know, when I mean Venezuelan, it's the same thing. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, you so you're from the same, the same, the same place. Mm -hmm. You feel the roots. You feel yes. like you're at home, you know? You're like safe, right? You're safe. Yeah. Exactly. I'm ready to go to the Philippines. I'm Me too. Move. Yeah. Do you want, they are the one who did everything, like from your clothes, from your toothpaste, prepare your food, and just like everything was there when you wake up, everything is there. Your your socks, your your clothes. You go to shower. She's basically telling me get married to a Filipina. Yeah, the towel is there. <laughs> that's what that's what the old culture before. Until now, there's still Filipino like that. It's like it's like uh, it's the old school way. Choice. That's the old school it's way. It's their choice if they want to work or not. But the husband will give their salary to the wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it so much? <laughs> I can't. I can't. You're Filipino. You work on the cruise ships. Is this your first time in Miami? Uh no. I've I've been here since last 2022. Since 22. Yes, yeah, so it's my first time there working in a cruise ship. The first time in 2022. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the Filipinos that work on the cruise ships and, and come here? Because I'm seeing so many. Uh, yeah, because uh, this is the one um, Filipino restaurant here in Miami. So every cruise ship coming from different places and then ducking here in Miami, all the Filipinos will come out and just to dine here. Because we all miss the Filipino food. Yeah. Really. Because on board there's no Filipino yes, food. And, uh, some of the, uh, all of the dishes we miss is available here, so 
that's the first thing we we're thinking of when we're going to Miami. Yeah, so right it's like now. it's a piece of home that's here. Yes, yes. And where are you from in the Philippines? I'm from in Manila. You're from Manila. Yeah. Okay. So I've been to Manila one time. Uh, loved it, uh, but massive city, too big, and the traffic uh, yeah, there is yeah. crazy now. And you? That's my husband. Oh, your husband? Yeah. What's up, man, David? Man, How are you I'm doing? Man. Man? All good, all good. And you're also on the cruise ship? Yes, as well. we, we work together in the uh, same ship. Okay, awesome. It's romantic, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, we just married last month. Here. You married last yeah. month? Yeah. No way, congrats, congrats, <laughs> amazing. February 14. Wow. <laughs> when we go back home, we're planning to have our. Um, ceremony in the Philippines also. And, and how much time do you have? How's your contract? Like eight months or eight something? Months. Eight, eight months. Eight months. We work for eight months. So eight months on the ship, you get off at ports yeah. and then you get back on. I mean, yeah. you ha- and you have yeah. limited after, time. After two months vacation, then come back again. After two yeah. months vacation? Two, two months, then we come back again. So it's like eight months, two months off, eight months again? Yeah. That's Maybe. sort of... Yeah. Miami cruise ship capital, but do you guys also been to Barcelona? Because I heard there's a big yeah, Filipino yeah. community there too. We will go in there also, in Barcelona. Yeah. Um, we work in Norwegian Pearl, mm-hmm. so this this April we're gonna reposition. We're gonna have a reposition to the Europe. To Europe. So we have a uh, Barcelona also. We will go there. Yeah, because we want to go to Barcelona and do the same thing we're doing here there. Because I, I saw it, it's, it's even bigger. It's not like one spot. It's like many spots. It's a lot. There's a big community there because I've been there before. No, there's a, a lot of uh, Filipino restaurant there also. It's scattered around Barcelona. City. It's not in Barrio Gotico. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to follow you too. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, All right. Awesome. Hey, $10, bro. $10. <laughs> this guy pulled up with a GoPro. Amazing. What are you recording there, bro? The food? But are you from the Philippines? Yeah? But you work on the cruise ship or you're local? We're from Savannah, Georgia. Oh, from Savannah. They live so, here in Miami. And I heard Savannah has another community as well. Wow, they just came here to try this food. That's amazing. So they came from Savannah. So the Filipinos that are coming to Miami, they'll find this spot. When they are around here in Miami, most of the Filipinos go here in uh, in uh, Manila Cantina. Be- last time that we've been here, there's a one white guy. He's from uh, California. Then uh, he tried the food here. Because uh, one of his Filipino friends uh, um, repaired he- this uh, restaurant to try on. So- no, it's, it's amazing how the food just keeps coming out too. It, they definitely have that that rush. It's just a rush. The, everything is crowded. Everybody eats and then it flies back, and they go back to the ship. Because we have a we have onboard time. We have a we have a limited time going out. Like what two hours? Yeah, something. like that two hours, three hours. That's it. Then we go back again. The only problem with the two hours is that to get off the port is like twenty minutes. So. Yeah. So you have to come close. Yeah. So this is like strategically positioned perfect. Yeah. So is the food like home? Yes. This place reminds me of home because of this food. We have uh, Filipino food on board also in the ship, but uh, this one is very different. This one, the taste is of this here, very close to the Philippines. Wow. Yeah, because I would expect that on board, some of the chefs are Filipinos, yeah. so they're, they're yes. making Filipino food too. Yeah. Yeah, especially for the crew members. Chefs. Your chefs? Yeah. Oh, your chefs! Look at that! <laughs> yeah. So, what's your favorite dish to make, Filipino dish? Adobo. Adobo. You know adobo, right? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. It's funny because I grabbed the wrong thing, and it, but adobo is the next one. So, mm-hmm. that's good. You know already when the adobo is from the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. So it's, yes. it's one of a kind. Yeah. I, I think like it's adobo, balut, and sisig. Yeah. Those are the three most uh, traditional yeah, or this more is common. Popular. This is a popular one. Yeah. What's what's the the strangest dish in the Philippines? The balut, I guess. There's a lot of strangest Hello. dish in the Philippines. Yeah, I but can't still good. It right now, <laughs> because there's a lot of coming in my mind of the strange food. Uh, have you tried the uh, chicharon bolaklak in the Philippines? Chicharon bolaklak. Bolaklak. Yeah. It's a uh, intestine, small intestine of the pig, and we make it crunchy. We you make it chicharon. It. That sounds delicious. Yeah. That sounds so good. He stole my GoPro. That's my GoPro, bro. <laughs> what are you doing with it? <laughs> so you're Filipinos, but from Savannah? Yeah. Yeah, I, I hold it here in Miami. 
Oh, you live in Miami? Yeah, but I'm from the Philippines. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So, and but, and then everybody else is from Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. Yes. yes. Everyone else. Is. is there a big uh, community in Savannah? Yeah. Filipino community? Yeah. There is yeah. They, big. No. They have something in the community, but not like Bobby. here in Miami. Well, I mean, for me, my understanding is the biggest is California. We're like eighth state uh, in terms of uh, population of Filipinos. Yeah, yeah. I see also in New York right now, they have little um, community in Queens, where they call it Little Manila. Little Manila in Queens. So there's also a lot of restaurants in there. I've been there like last month. Wow. Okay. So do you think I should go to Little Manila in Queens? I, I think I should. Yeah. Why it like that. Yeah. There's a lot of Filipino restaurants there, you know. No, same it's owner, same com competitors. And if it's like this experience, it's just it's, it's so, buffet, so. No, no, but the experience. I mean, people are just so friendly. It's like yeah, come yeah, in, yeah, yeah. just like you know, do whatever you need to do. It's awesome. Well, hey man, you <laughs> tag me, tag me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the differences between you know like your generation and your mother's generation? Because from my, from my understanding, your mom came, then you were born over there as well, right? Right. And then you came over here. Have you feel like you've become a more Americanized? No, I can definitely say um, the difference, it's her generation back then, it's kind of like hard, that's what she's trying to tell us, compared to this, our new generation right now, because it's much easier, the life is easier, I would say, but then when I came here in the U.S., when I started here, it was my life, it was tough though, it was tough, people always say like we, we get here like really quick like that instantly, it's overnight but that's not true no it's never so, like that the journey the journey is long. the journey it's we we trust the process you know we trust the process we just day by day my mom always keeps telling me like um you need to you need you, you need to um just keep going in life and then just don't stop no and then um and then you just keep um trust in the lord because that's what he always um told us when we were little like you have to pray and then always remember that there is God up there yeah. he sees everything what you're doing here and then just ask for his help and then he will help you I love that yes yeah, so you have to have belief belief. It's belief yeah that's one thing I love about the immigration story because my parents are first generation right. uh, they came from a different country um, and just hard-working they you know they give it all you know so they can give you the next generation a better future you know right. my parents did it for me and I know so many other parents to do the same thing um, so hats off to your mother mm, yes who I am right now because of my mother yeah. Dude, you gotta get like emotional here, dude. I, I can't, you're too much, uh, you're too much, bro. Yeah, in our generation, what I'm, I'm doing before, I'm here working hard to support my family in the Philippines. There's no, like, uh, like time to rest, work, 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 so that I can send money to them. But their generation now, it's just like they are more prepared than, than me before, because I am already here. I already established something for them. So they don't need to work hard just to send to the Philippines because we are everybody is already here and I already established a little of something for them. So you paved the path so they don't have to struggle yes. the same way. Yes. So the sacrifice, all the peasants, all the hard work is starts on me. So that when they came in here, it's they have an, like a little easy life than what I had experienced. Yeah. Your son mentioned that you guys are harder. So I was like, oh, so we're softer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. You know, one thing really that I want to emphasize, you know, this, all that you seen here is like God's blessing because uh, uh, what we, I had before is like faith and prayers. And I'm asking like, really, Lord, I want to bring my family here. That's my determination before. I'm determined. So. Uh, we are in business by God's grace. We don't have like capital that big that like the all uh, want to have business. They have big capital to start up, but we have only like uh, God's grace. We started with credit card. Very humble beginnings. Startup. Yeah. And can you tell me anything in Tagalog? A message for all the Filipino people. In Tagalog. Uh, ako gusto ko lang naging maging inspirasyon ng lahat ng mga uh, immigrant na Pilipino na nandito sa uh, na gusto ng pumunta sa ibang lugar para makipagsapalaran uh, gusto kong ano na hindi lang hanggang diyan inspirasyon niyo ako kung ano ang ginanas ko nagsimula 
uh, bilang housekeeper ngayon ay naging may, 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 may negosyo na uh, gusto kong hindi mawala ng pag-asa. There's a lot of uh, immigrants coming here that just like, oh, my contract will gonna be ending soon. You know, I didn't have my paperwork. I don't have nothing. I accomplished nothing. But it's not. It's just like you know, determination. Determination. Yeah, it's it's that you know what you think it will happen. Yeah, if you can see it here, mm -hmm. you can realize it. Right? That's right. And don't forget, by faith and by prayers, you can have everything. Of course. So God's be the glory. In this, in this, uh, and this one, this guy, long time customer. Oh my god, he's been this going guy? everywhere. <laughs> this guy, this guy, a long time customer. When he started here, first year in here in America, he's coming here. Like, that's why I said, Oh, you're very different. <laughs> uh, look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's Americanized. J1 to J1, J1. Student visa. Now he's already at Yeah, yeah. I, I moved here in Miami. Uh, Manila Cantina was a home for me. Um, during pandemic, I come here with my partner. And we just, you know, enjoy every time we come here. And Nanai works so hard every day. Very inspiring person. It's amazing. Yeah. Really good food, too. <laughs> I told him fight lang, you know, just fight, keep on fighting, you know. Fight lang. Yeah. Fight lang. Fight lang. Fight lang. Yeah, just like laban lang. Like keep yeah. on going. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because he he's a uh, new here, and I give I'm giving inspiration to the new people coming here. Yeah. Especially them, they're like my children. <laughs> Every yeah, young generation, I treated them like my 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 own ch child. So that's why when he's coming here in the beginning, I said it's okay. You just started. Time will come. You're gonna be like, you know, you're gonna be established too. He so looks like the right. Filipino king right there. The hat, the hat, bro. He's balling with that hat. <laughs> He's coming here with the shirt, with the slipper, with that like this coat. And now, oh my God, your jeans. I'm the only person with these jeans. He's truly Miami now. <laughs> yeah. In the Vespa. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm the only person who didn't change my outfit. Everybody's changing the outfit now. This is great. Hello. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Adobo is pork with yeah. onions and like a sauce, like a nice stew. Vinegar, soy sauce. Vinegar, soy sauce. Yeah, soy sauce is the key ingredient here. The outside, the fat. What a nice layer. Mm -hmm. Pork belly is the best part. And he's saying that the your fried chicken is better than. Uh, no, 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 no. No. no? 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 We have we have different like different uh, spices. Different spices. Yeah. The fried chicken. Yeah. And they believe you should try the pork adobo, but this one is a uh, bone in. Bone in. Uh huh. And then this is our fried chicken. This is the cooking uh, in a different way. Mmm. Look at this. All right, enjoy. This might be this. Thanks, bro. Better than Jollibee? We'll see. Definitely better. It's fresher. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. Mm. Juicy and crunchy. And the flavors. They usually um, they have the, the bread in a mix and then you just dip it in. Or sometimes we just put um uh, fish fish sauce. Mm -hmm. Fish sauce, salt and pepper and then just put it in the flour and then deep fry it. So that's why it, the flavors are gonna come inside as well. Yeah. So this is definitely blows Jollibee away. <laughs> like, but for me, Jollibee is better. Jollibee is better? Jollibee better. I, I think all Filipinos love Jollibee because it, it really is a sense of home. Yeah. Our preference is better, um, Jollibee is better here. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's better here. I mean, Jollibee You think Jollibee is better here? Yeah, you think so? Yeah. They say it's better in the Philippines. It's like KFC in Trinidad. Yeah, yeah. This is the adobo with the bone. Oh, it's like the skin. Delicious. The flavors are so intense with the soy. Mm. It's good, but it's pure fat. Like literally, do that layer. Nice and tasty. Yeah, it's like fat, that's all it is. 
I'll go with the regular adobo. This is tasty. Mm. I'm gonna steal her away. Judith, thank you so much. You're welcome. You. Appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you too. Your food's amazing. You're like my family now. Oh, you are adopted a family to us, okay? Thank so you. So don't forget, if you're around here, come by. Visit your family. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. You're too much. I, I need another hug. Thank you so much too. Thank you. Thank you. It's our pleasure oh, having you you're guys the best. here. You're the best. Hello. I hope you're gonna come back in Manila Cantina. Hello. <laughs> so what did you say about her? Hi. Hey, how you doing? Is this your second home? Yeah. Yeah. Aside from the ship, it's gonna be this is our home where we can have our own food. Yeah, and so you're from the Philippines? Yeah. manager there. Oh, okay, yeah? Come in, come in. <laughs> uh, on which ship? On Royal? Royal, Freedom. Freedom, Freedom. Office, yeah. Freedom is the biggest. Yeah, no, no, now the biggest one is Icon. Icon, Icon. That, Sorry, I'm not a cruise guy. But. Yeah, maybe you have to join also and one try. Day, one day. Yeah, why not? No, I, I need to go on the cruise ship and go to the bottom yeah. and eat with the Filipinos. This lady is working hard there. She's a chef. She's a chef? She's in the breakfast station. <laughs> Doing some like preparing the, uh, the food. How many people you're preparing a day? 4,500. 4,500. 4,500 people you're serving a day. You can't even cook for one. <laughs> I cook for myself and I barely do it. And it's very small there when I look at, oh my god. <laughs> so it, it's, cr it's crazy in that kitchen, I'm sure. It's just like massive kitchen. So Freedom of the Sea, the second largest ship, I think. Icon of the Sea is the largest now. And we have both here. The Symphony of the Sea. No, we have Wonders. Wonder Icon is the first one. Second is the Wonder symphony. of the Seas. No, symphony. I think one. Symphony is bigger than. Yeah, Symphony is bigger. And then Symphony, Harmony, and then Oasis, Allure. And then that's the time we got Freedom. Oh. Then Freedom, Liberty, Independence, they are all the same. And then all the way down, right? But now the Utopia is coming also. Utopia? Yeah. We're booked already. Uh, you told me another big ship? A big ship though. And oh. more high technology. That's crazy. Very crazy. Well, guys, enjoy the food. I'm sorry I interrupted you. He's working in the, in the, in, on the port. RTCL too. He's oh, an yeah? engineer. Oh, he's an engineer? He's always been here every time I travel to my house. Every time? It's the best, man. Like no, family. this is this is like family. Like you just sit down with everybody, you converse, you eat. Thank, Thank you again. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. No, enjoy, enjoy. Bon appetit. Bon bon okay. For sure. Thank you. These are Indonesians. Bahasa, Bahasa. So Indonesians from where? From where? When? From Bali. Ah, okay. Where's the sambal? Where's the sambal? Spicy sambal. Yeah, it's the one thing the Filipinos don't love spice. But Indonesians love spice. They love spice. Dude, he even has the flag. Food looks good. Oh, you sperm and seal. Norwegian pearl. This is literally the Filipino corner, guys. This is so awesome. Like family, you know? Like family. Let me say by the end. Let me say by the end. And thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you for thank you. visiting Manila Cantina. Pleasure. Yeah. Guys, buy the buy, buy the t-shirt. Oh, they sell a t-shirt. If you want souvenir shirt, we have here. N next time I'll get one. Next time. Okay. Next. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Oh my god, Dave. How lovely. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this one is Pico Leche Flying. This one is Pichi Pichi, Ubi Halaya, and Saping Saping. What's your favorite? All. All? Yes. If I can only eat one, only one. Uh, saping Saping. Saping Saping. Yes. You're half Indonesian, half Filipino. <laughs> so do you like sambal? Oh, I love sambal. Oh, yeah. Filipinos don't like sambal. But I love more sinigang. Oh, yeah? yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Rendang padang. It's so good. Make your tongue slap your brains out. <laughs> I always hear because people are coming, you know. I say hi, and they don't wait, they come here, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> the old lady. 